everyone, I'm here with Jenna, the owner of Ombre Gallery, and we are at her gorgeous jewelry store, and she's gonna talk a little bit more about what she offers here. Hi, um, well, I've been having the gallery now open for about 10 months, actually, to, in about two days will be my 10 month anniversary. Um, I have a little over 50 artists in the gallery. It's all handmade jewelry. Um, we have everything in here from your traditional jewelry that uses silver and gold to things that are like recycled skateboards, Lego jewelry, uh, things made in steel, porcelain, glass, you name it. Everything. Everything, <laughs> yes. Um, and it's something that is very special because mm -hmm. I'm one of a handful of galleries that specializes in contemporary art jewelry here in the U.S. and around the world. Right. So, and Ohio is very special because there's a lot of handmade jewelry programs mm -hmm. here, you know, that specialize right. in metal arts. Um, you have Kent State, Miami, mm -hmm. Ohio, and then Indiana also has programs like Indiana University, Ball right. State, Michigan has Cranbrook Academy, mm -hmm. so, um, and many others. So, um, I'm very excited to have some of those artists in here, and then we also represent artists from all across the country, as well as around the world. So, awesome. it's a very special place. I'm well, very Thank you for happy having me here. in today. Thank you for coming. And thank we'll you give you guys a little tour and talk about some of Jenna's favorite pieces in the store as well. Great. Well, right here in front of us, actually, we have a graduate of Kent State's program from 2011. Um, I had an exhibition in here for work a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something special here, too. We do exhibitions on a monthly basis, sometimes of one artist or a group of artists. And here's Nikki Coupe. She um, actually does all of this work using found objects, resins. Um, you'll see everything from um, acrylic in her work and foils that you see under there. People really love it. Um, this is some of the work that's left from the exhibition. Uh, you see how just the colors pop, but she's making commentary about like the int intrinsic value of uh, jewelry. Um, but it's really one of a kind and special. Mm -hmm. So no two pieces are alike here. These bracelets here are by an artist named Julie Rothman. She uh, works with a group of women in Guatemala who use their techniques for hand looming beads, but they use her paintings um, to get the um, get all the designs in. And you can see it's all these modern paintings as opposed to their Guatemalan imagery that you normally would use. And so it's really a women's empowerment project. And then Julie Rothman takes them back to her studio in. Um, in California and then she finishes them with leather and then you have an adjustable strap here with some silver and they're just really gorgeous. Um, it comes in all different colors and sizes. So this artist is Nikki Ulela. She um, is also a trained puppeteer and she uses the same materials in her puppets that she does in her jewelry. Um, and here you see some uh, semi-precious stones and precious stones um, where she is using some cold connections. Um, she is using here some rubies, sapphires, peridots. Um, you also see um, amethyst and carnelians. It's just really gorgeous. Um, and then she also uses gold leaf that she would use on the puppets as well as silk, um, sterling silver. Um, and some of them where you see that there's some designs, those are all one of a kind uh, paintings. And they're just absolutely gorgeous. So Tara Locklear here is a wonderful artist out of uh, North Carolina. She's received a lot of awards and is on the American Craft Council circuit. I kind of call her the, the craft rock star of the group. Um, she gets a lot of her skateboards that are sent to her and she upcycles them into this amazing jewelry. So I never know what colors I'm getting. Um, it just really depends on the skateboards. And she um, carves these into these amazing shapes. Um, and these are some of her pieces here. Uh, and some of them are these amazing chains and she works with them with sterling silver as well. Uh, so sometimes you'll see the patterns from the skateboards. You'll get in some, some colors from the stickers or whatever is on the skateboard. Sometimes you'll get some eyes from, mm -hmm. I don't know, that could be an alligator, a um, dinosaur, you never know. And sometimes you could see some of the metallic and some of them are also reversible in co color, so depending upon how you wear them, you'll get uh, different color variations, whether it's more white than blue. Uh, so that's wonderful to wear.